This is Stephanie Boyles and welcome to the video tutorial on Unbridled Writer's Assessment Tool. Let's get started. So in order to do assessments, the first thing you need to do is to create an account on Unbridled Writer so that Unbridled Writer will be able to house the information that you put in and retain it so that you can track your progress over time. Now I am, you can see, logged in here and the first thing that I do is click on my horses. It brings me to a page that has all my horses on it. And since I've done an assessment already on Vegas, I am going to add another horse and I'm going to call that horse Magic. Now if you don't have a horse and you want to assess yourself, you can add here a horse that you would typically ride and think about how good you would be in each of the movements with that horse. Then I hit continue. It brings me to Magic's page. On Magic's page I can include a lot of information about Magic his nickname, registration, color markings, height, breed, as well as his lineage. I can keep a track of his health records, put in pictures, and put in attach videos of Magic to Magic's page, as well as his assessments. The first thing I'm going to do is to add a picture of Magic. So I click on that. I go. It brings me to my computer and I double click on Magic's picture then I go down hit update and you see that Magic shows up here on the upper left hand corner now about assessments click on assessments there I'm wanting to assess myself with Magic so I come down to his section and I hit add a goal we have three areas of assessment, dressage, ground manners, and hunter jumper. I'm going to choose dressage and hit continue. This brings me to Magic's page about dressage. To get to the assessment section, you just scroll down. You can see that we you can assess yourself on intro, training, first level, second level, third level, and fourth level. These are all the movements that one would be expected to have mastered to successfully compete in the various levels according to the United States Equestrian Federation new 2011 test. I suggest that you go ahead right from the beginning and assess yourself on all the movements in all the levels just to create a baseline. Then you'll see how you can progress over time. But for the sake of this demonstration, I'm just going to look at level two. So I would say Magic and I, zero being not introduced, four meaning we're very solid on it, are a three in medium walk in second level. We'd have probably been a four in training level. Uh, free walk 3, turn on the haunches 2, collected trot 2, medium trot 2, shoulder and in trot 3, haunches in 3, haunches out 3, collected canter not so good 1, medium canter 1, counter canter 1, canter circles were pretty good at that, canter serpentine collected 1, collected canter lead change 1, rain back were great at, transitions Collected medium, collected trot, two, and transitions, collected medium, collected canter, I'd say we're at a one. Once you've assessed yourself on all the movements in that level, proceed back up the page and hit the word calculate. So then the site would average all your scores on each of those movements within that level and show you that at second level we're at about a 51 percent. 
Now, if you want to go deeper, you can come down and hit this Show Qualities button. So let's say that I really want to improve in Collected Cantor. What is required to have mastered Collected Cantor? I just hit Show Qualities and I see that. So the horse should be relaxed and responsive, have a clear three-beat rhythm, shortened and elevated strides with hocks well engaged and clearly flexing, so on and so forth. So I can now sub-assess where Magic and I are at Collected Cantor. I say he's relaxed and responsive, definitely a clear beat, three-beat rhythm, not so much the hocks well engaged and clearly flexing, Lightened forehand, accepting bit, yes. Straight with uphill balance, yes. Bend inflection, definitely. Increased engagement of hind quarters, one, one, and one. Now I come back up and hit calculate again. And you can see, we'll go down and see if we changed it all. I thought we were a one. Let's come down. No, actually, when you consider it all in, we're really more like a two in our level of mastery of collected canter. Now, it's nice to subassess yourself on these qualities, but sometimes you just want to glance at these qualities to see what is expected for that movement. So, for example, free walk good ground coverage, length of stride, and clear overstep, lowers and stretches out head and neck, just to understand what is expected in that movement. If we were to assess ourselves at intro, training, first, second, third, and fourth, then we would have these pie charts for each of these levels. Let's look at what a horse would look like that has that fully filled out. I'll go back to my horses, and instead of choosing Magic, I'll choose Vegas. This brings me to what we call Vegas's dashboard. It's a picture of his level of development, his and my level of development, all around. So you can see with dressage, ground manners, hunter jumper. I've also filled in a lot of information about Vegas and I have some of my favorite pictures of Vegas so I can catch him at a glance. Unbridled Rifle Rider offers one more function in the assessment section and that is to track your progress over time. So let's look at dressage. So you can see again it brings you to the current mastery there and you hit Horse Rider Progress History and so you can see where we were at 10-1-2010 and where we are at 4-1-2011. If you have updated an assessment in the quarter, within a quarter, then the site automatically creates a line item like this so that you can track that progress over time. Well, that's about it. Thank you so much for listening to this video tutorial. If you have any questions about this or any of the other functionality on the site, please don't hesitate to send me an email, stephanie at unbridledrider.com. Thank you so much. Goodbye.